This program contains material that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Untamed and uncut. Chalky Joe Hately is turned into a human cannonball. I thought when I saw him catapulted as high as he was, gee, I hope he's all right. Thrown 20 feet into the air, Joe comes to Earth with a sickening thud. Oh boy, the Galway Piper threw the rider high into the air in a heavy pull. And he's done it like a, a very slow somersault in the air and came down flat on his back. He falls right under the hooves of the horse behind him, whose rider also falls. Hugh O'Sullivan is listening to the horse race in Melbourne, Australia. When the radio announcer says it's his nephew, Joe Hately, who has fallen. That's when you start to worry. And then he said that they were taking him to hospital. Des Gleason, chairman of the stewards, immediately has paramedics on scene. The ambulance follows the field, so uh, they would have been there in um, half a minute. Paramedics find the 23-year-old unconscious. He's rushed to the hospital. Jockey Brian Constable was out front when Joe is flung skyward. And to go that high and come down that flat has me wondering how he done it. Look closely at the video again, and you can see Joe's horse, the Galway Piper, take off far too early. In Steeplechase, it's all about timing. Now go back and look at the horses who jumped just before him. The jockey in the pink. His horse takes off before the jump, but at that point, Joe's horse is already airborne. There's no way he's going to clear that fence. The reason why Joe went straight in the air, the horse changed its mind and put its front legs back down. You can see the horse's legs hit the top of the fence. The horses hit the fence very hard and sort of stopped quickly and sent him up more than forward. You might think the horse's legs would go right through those bristles on the top of the fence. But Greg Groves, who helps run a race course, says the brush is very sturdy. So when the Galway Piper's front hooves clip the heavy brush at 35 miles an hour, the impact causes all 1,000 pounds of the horse's weight to suddenly pivot forward. That momentum catapults Joe right out of the saddle. As spectators regain their breath, they're stunned and relieved to learn that Joe escapes with nothing more than a concussion and a sore neck. Unbelievably, Joe is back racing three days later on the Galway Piper, who is uninjured, as is the jockey Joe collided with. I wasn't nervous at all getting back on the horse. Many tracks have now replaced those tea tree bristles with a softer man-made fiber, hopefully reducing the risk of another tragedy at the track.